on May 19th, 2017. It was day 120 of the Donald Trump White House regime. Donald Trump has just arrived in Saudi Arabia. And at the same time, it appears that Jared Kushner is a person of interest in the big Russian investigation. If we do a Google on Donald Trump today, we get 379 million results in 0.7 seconds. People are already talking about how things could go horribly wrong on Donald Trump's first foreign trip. Now, what I find very surprising that even though Jared Kushner is a person of interest, he is tagging along with Donald Trump over to Saudi Arabia. Here we see that just minutes ago, Donald Trump arrived in Saudi Arabia, sleepless, tired. But back to Jared Kushner. Jared Kushner actually had to get approval from his rabbi. We'll go into that later. What an interesting story. Jared Kushner not even supposed to be flying this weekend. But let's go down and see some of the other news. How Al Franken unleashed a special counsel on Donald Trump. Al Franken. That surprises nobody. Everybody knew what kind of people would be attacking Donald Trump. All dual citizens. But here's the, probably the most interesting story of the day. Jared Kushner and Ivanka had to get a pass from their rabbi. They had to get official permission. You see, apparently, on the weekend, they're not allowed to fly on an airplane or use a motor vehicle on the weekend or after a certain hour. I'm not really totally aware of all the Orthodox Jews rules, but Jared Kushner is breaking all the rules this weekend to get that free, all expense paid trip to Israel and Saudi Arabia and Rome. Pretty nice gig if you can get it. So we'll go down here again. Jared Kushner breaking Orthodox rules. And also, he's under investigation for intervening and getting Saudi Arabia a cheaper deal with the missile systems. He had a pass from his rabbi. The rabbi said, sure, yeah, sure. You have my permission to go to Israel, Saudi Arabia, and Rome. But the rabbi told him, when you go to Rome, don't get too friendly with the holy man, okay? This is also interesting. It looks like Time Magazine ripped off Mad Magazine when they did the uh, combination of the Russians, St. Basile, with the uh, White House. That's what they do. We all know what those dual citizens do. They steal everything. That doesn't surprise anybody. Now, Louise Mentz, she has fooled the liberals again with some major conspiracy theory. She said there was a sealed indictment coming down this week on Donald Trump. And so far, we've seen no sealed indictments. And then we'll keep on going looking for more interesting news. The media is already saying the Trump foreign trip is a disaster. It hasn't even started. So we'll keep on looking for some miscellaneous news. Anthony Weiner pleads guilty. In his sexting case. That's interesting. Anthony Weiner pleads guilty. Now is he going to take anyone down with him? That's the most important part. He pleads guilty. Is he going to get immunity? For other crimes? And is he going to take anybody down with him? That story should get interesting in the future. The protest in Oklahoma. After the officer was found not guilty of manslaughter. And we'll just keep on going down here looking for miscellaneous news. 
Today's going to be a short video. We're a little late. Sorry about that. But the main thing is Donald Trump has arrived in Saudi Arabia and Jared Kushner is a person of interest. It really, there, when it comes to the Donald Trump White House regime, that's about as interesting as it gets today. Now, mainstream media says that Trump called Comey a nut job. And there are many other people. Apparently there are many people that Donald Trump calls a nut job. I mean, not really world earth shattering news there. So we'll keep on looking. The Russian probe looking at officials in the White the White House. Of course, that's where speculation is. That Jared Kushner is one of the big dogs that they're looking at. A person of interest. And they're already talking impeachment. No surprise. Let's see here. Yes, these are just the rumors going Twitter. Twitter is all the rage with Jared Kushner tweets. And apparently his family was selling the golden tickets to America for months before they got caught. Wonder how long that was going on for. It's amazing with Jared Kushner. All the people on Wall Street worship Jared Kushner. But normal, working Americans seem to despise him. Don't really care for him too much. Really an interesting character. And as I said before, you know that he went on the trip with Donald Trump. He's over in Saudi Arabia with him. Took that flight with Air Force One when he... Gets back to the States. Will be will there be an interview with former FBI Director Robert Mueller? I would think that Robert Mueller is going to want to talk to everybody in the White House, including Jared Kushner. Some more news here. The fall of the Confederacy. The final statue is removed from New, or New Orleans. So this is an end of an era. The final Confederate statue removed from New Orleans. Of course, Syria and Russia condemn the attack. Donald Trump bombs Syria before he heads off to the three holy cities. How weird is that? You bomb a country and then you jump on an airplane and go to Mecca, Israel, and Rome. It just doesn't make any sense.